Welcome to the section on nucleotide biosynthesis. So today, we are going to be looking at the de novo pathway for the synthesis of purines. Now, by way of recap, remember there are two pathways involved in the synthesis of nucleotides. The first one is the de novo, which involves the use of simple precursor molecules. And the second pathway is the salvage pathway. So now we're going to look at the de novo synthesis of purines. Now, remember the two purines are the adenine base and the guanine base. So now, back to the reaction. One thing, key thing we should note, that in purine biosynthesis, we have the synthesis of the nitrogenous base on the ribose sugar. By way of recap, the component of a nucleotide is the sugar, the nitrogenous base, and the phosphate group. So now, for the synthesis of the pyrimidine ring, we have the synthesis of the nitrogenous base apart from the ribose sugar. So for the purine, we have the synthesis of this base on the purine. So now let's get to the first step. The first step is the activation of the ribose sugar. Activation involves the phosphorylation of the ribose sugar, all right, addition of the phosphate group to give us phosphoribosyl pyrophosphate, or what we call PRPP. This is an activated sugar. So this is the first reaction involved in the synthesis of um, purine bases, um, purine nucleotide. So the formation of PRPP, which is the phosphorylation of the sugar molecule. So having had the phosphorylation molecule, the step two, all right, I will just concentrate on the progression on how the purine bases are synthesized. So the first, the next reaction is the acquisition. Now remember, we said that for the de novo synthesis, some of these molecules are sourced from precursor molecules like glycine aspartate, all right, tetrahydro, tetrahydrofolate, glutamine, okay. So the step one involves the activation of the sugar to form PRPP or phosphoribosyl pyrophosphate. Step two involves the acquisition of this N9. So we are going to just look at the progression of how the purine rings are synthesized. So after the activation of the sugar, the next step is the, for formation, is the acquisition of this N9, all right? So th this reaction involves the removal of the phosphate group from the ribose, from the activated ribose sugar to form phosphoribosylamide, or what you call PRE, all right? So now, after the formation of phosphoribosylamide, you now have the acquisition of carbons 4, 5, and nitrogen 7, building up of the ring from glycine, all right? So once this glycine supplies this molecule, it is added to the growing ring, and you have glycinamide ribotide. So now, the next step, all right, involved in the biosynthesis, all right, so this is, after this, you have the, form, the acquisition of this form part of the ring. The next step is the acquisition of carbon-8. Now, remember, the source of carbon-8 is from the folate. So, tetrahydrofolate so furnishes this carbon atom, and then you have the compound F, G, a R that is formal glycinamide ribotide. So after you have this, the next step involved in the building of the nucleotide ring structure is the N3, the acquisition of the N3. Now remember that N3 is furnished by 
glutamine. So once you have the acquisition of the N3 to the growing ring structure, all right, what happens is the next compound that is formed is, all right, I will just give you the abbreviations F, G, A, M, because the names are called, all right? So once you have the formation of this, the next reaction, which is reaction six, is a ring closure. Remember, this is a de novo synthetic, synthetic pathway, so you have precursor molecules from different sources. So now you have the ring closure, which will form an imidazole structure. So reaction six is a ring closure. All right, which is composed of this So this is N, this is N, and then this. All right, so this ring is closed in reaction six. And then the next reaction is a carboxylation reaction, which brings, all right, or furnishes the growing ring at position six. Now the source of this reaction is bicarbonate. So, after the ring closure, you have the bicarbonate, all right, furnishing the growing ring at position six. So, which gives us a growing ring structure like this. Now, the next, all right, reaction is the acquisition of carbon one. And this is furnished by an amino acid aspartate to give us S A C A I R. That's the compound. The next reaction is an elimination reaction which takes up the fumarate component of the amino acid. Now the last all right, acquisition of the compound occurs at position two. Right? So position two is furnished, or carbon two, all right, is furnished by the same carbon um, precursor molecule that furnishes carbon eight, which is tetrahydrofolate. So by the time, all right, tetrahydrofolate furnishes the carbon two, you have the entire ring structure. The next step is called, which is more like the tenth step, is called the cyclization structure, which stabilizes the purine ring to form, all right, inosine, monophosphate. So INP, or inosine monophosphate, is the first purine that is formed in the purine nucleotide biosynthesis. Now when this compound is formed, all right, the next two major reactions are the formation of ANP and GMP, or what you call adenosine monophosphate or guanosine. All right, so no, let me put it this way, because what we should be here are the enzymes. So watch out for the video on the enzymes that, all right, catalyzes this reaction. So you have the AMP this way, and you have the GMP this way. So please take note. For the purine nucleotide biosynthesis, the nucleotide base is formed on the ribosugar, and the first purine to be formed in the pathway is IMP, which is inosine monophosphate. And from inosine monophosphate, you have the formation of AMP and GMP. Now remember that the first step is the activation of the ribose sugar, which all right, involves the addition of phosphate group. So the PRPP is a major compound in the purine biosynthetic pathway. So note PRPP, inosine monophosphate, and the precursor molecules. Drop your questions in the comment section below 
and watch out for the next video. Bye-bye.